Welcome back to a new Lightroom Masterclass video. This time we will be taking a look at Lightroom's transform panel. Feel free to follow along by downloading the raw file, you can find a link to it in the description of the video. And now let's begin. First off, let's expand the transform panel. These settings right here can be used to level your image, but also fix vertical and horizontal lines. And this is especially important when shooting man-made structures like this with a wide-angle lens. Take a look at the center of the image. Right here, these vertical lines all look fine. But the closer we are going to the edge of the image, the more skewed those lines get. You can see this in the very foreground right here. This line right here shouldn't look like this. And that is an effect that is very common when using wide-angle lenses. You can see for this shot I was shooting at 16 millimeters. So that's pretty wide. Now, how do we use the transform settings to fix this? First off, Lightroom tells you to enable the lens corrections. Since for the best results, enable lens corrections in the lens correction panel. So let's do this real quick. I'm opening up the lens correction panel and just activate the checkbox right there. Depending on the lens, this might look different with your images. So let's go back into the transform tab. Right there in the top of the panel, there are a bunch of different buttons we can push and they mostly do what the name suggests. By default, Lightroom sets the transform settings to off, but of course we can switch to auto to get automatic settings applied, or we could just say to level the image, which then will just fix the horizon or just fix the vertical lines. If you want to, we can also apply all of those things at once going with the full mode, or we could choose the guided mode. This one is a little bit different, since once activated, you can hover over your image and draw guidelines. So with this tool active, we want to draw a guideline along the lines we want to fix. So let's first focus on this vertical line right here. I'm going to click once in the bottom and drag the mouse up along the edge. Now with only one guideline, nothing is happening. In order for Lightroom to fix things, we need to add another guideline. So I'm going on the other side and do the same thing along this vertical line, just aligning it perfectly like this. And once I let go, you can see Lightroom nicely fixes those lines. So this method works pretty well if you have clearly visible skewed lines, like we have in this case. By the way, let's turn off this setting again. This guided button right here is the exact same thing like the guided upright tool right there. Just click on the icon and you can again start drawing those guided lines. As you might have noticed, applying transformations like these will always result in some strange gaps towards the corners of the image. We could in theory fix that using something like the content aware fill tool in Photoshop but we can also crop the image. We can do that either manually or we could simply activate the checkbox right down here and Lightroom then will automatically crop the image. However, I highly suggest to not use this automatic crop since you can see what's happening right here. We are cutting off this thing at the very top, which we don't want in this case. So let's deactivate it and I want to reset the crop. So let's go in here and reset it. So again, if you want to fix those gaps, fix them manually or fill them using something like the content aware fill in Photoshop at the later point in the post-processing. Now let's turn off those settings again, since we have a bunch of different sliders below, which I want to show as well. So we have a vertical and a horizontal slider. Those are used to fix vertical or horizontal lines. Just like before, we can use the vertical slider and try straightening those lines in the foreground like we did before with the guided tool for example. Doing it this way we are pretty much eyeballing it since we don't have any grid to guide us. But again you can see the results do look much better than before. And you could do pretty much the same with the horizontal slider if there would be horizontal lines to fix. Then next up there's the rotate slider which allows us to level the horizon of the image. 
Again, we don't have any indicator which shows us a straight horizon, so I would suggest to not use it that way, but just use the level button up here. This works far better. Then the aspect slider. This one is a little bit weird. As you can see, as we push it, it distorts the image. But depending on the lens you use, this might make sense. Or you might want to add some kind of special effect, kind of stretching the image vertically, which in some cases works really, really good on mountain landscape shots. Further down, we have the scale slider, which is pretty self-explanatory. We can scale the image down or scale the image up, just to our liking. And finally, there's the X and Y offset, with which we can push the image to either side. So as we just saw, with these transform settings, we can quite easily fix any ongoing distortions in the image and make it look way more natural. This is very helpful when working with man-made structures like this jetty in this image, while at the same time shooting with a wide angle lens, which adds a lot of distortion towards the border of the image. And again, for the best results, just like Lightroom tells you, make sure to enable the lens correction profiles and you should be good to go. Now that's it for this week's masterclass. I hope you could learn something new from this video. If you want to be updated, maybe feel free to subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot to me. And thank you very much for watching this video.